We close tonight with one man's vision of life on Mars. Elon Musk, the California billionaire behind Tesla and SpaceX, has unveiled plans to turn the planet next door into a tourist attraction. Here again, Carter Evans. This is what the first manned mission to Mars could look like in the universe of Elon Musk. What I try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible. The founder of Tesla and so. SpaceX says it could happen in about a decade. And liftoff. Ambitious for a space company that has yet to launch a manned mission at all. The spaceships would carry at least 100 passengers, each paying around $200,000. I think the first journeys to Mars are going to be really very dangerous. Risk of fatality will be high. Um, there's just no way around it. This month's explosion of a SpaceX rocket is a reminder of the significant consequences of failure. He's lost two Falcon 9 rockets in the last 15 months, and there's a sense that, that the aerospace community would like to see him master that before talking about sending people to Mars. A lot of the cost estimates that he made today are based on reusable launch technology. But they haven't been able to refly those rockets. It could cost about $10 billion to get the first ship off the ground. Even if the ultimate goal of this doesn't pan out, the products that come out of this trying to attempt this will push us along in a direction that will benefit everybody. Musk is hoping for a public-private partnership to pay for the project. In the meantime, he's prepared to put his own money where his mouth is. I really don't have any other motivation except to be able to make the, the biggest contribution I can to um, making life multiplanetary. Carter Evans, Los Angeles.